last Thursday, she's uh, bringing in Hollywood Brown after we reported four days beforehand that there was some interest there based on him liking our tweet. But um, over the past year, we've talked about getting wide receiver who can take the top off the defense, also take away some um, – so Kelsey doesn't have to do everything for our offense. Uh, but we were the ones that kind of started this Hollywood Brown rumor last week, and then boom, it happens over three days later. Um, so but this past week – uh, he echoed some of the things that we had talked about on our show last week about finally being able to showcase what he can do. And uh, during his press conference this week, he said, quote, I feel like I can affect all three levels of the game, short, intermediate, and deep. I feel like at times in Baltimore and in Arizona, I showed facets of things that I could do, but not on a consistent basis. So I feel here guys are interchangeable. We can complement each other and that the, in that way, the best can come out for everyone. Uh, he went on to say he thought the Chiefs were going to draft him in 2019 and then – the Chiefs went after him hard this offseason. So definitely got our guy. Um, if, if that fact that we've been hard on him, on him all uh, offseason. Um, cool thing is, day after this thing's announced, he's in the shop with, with, with Mahomes right off the bat, working with Bobby Straub. And then today, we see Rasheed Rice. We see Mahomes. We see Hollywood Brown doing their thing. Rasheed Rice rocking the dad bod shirt of Mahomes. I thought it was hilarious. But they're already working with each other. I mean, you get Kelsey in there, that's the greatest show on turf, 2.4 to JD. Um, but the, the best part of this whole Hyla Brown thing, I, although I'm a huge fan of it and everything, is the contract. So one year worth about $7 million up to $11 million in, in incentives are as follows. He gets 500 k for five touchdowns, 250 k for six touchdowns, another 250 k for another seven touchdowns. Yards-wise, 500 k for 500 receiving yards. Uh, another 125 for 625 receiving yards, another 125 for 750, and another 750 for 1,000 receiving yards. And he's got a playing time clause. Bottom line is to talk about what we talked about in the beginning of the show about what he's gone through, the adversity he's faced in his life, and then to sign a deal that's worth up to $11 million, it seems like he's fully betting on himself this year, and he fully is buying into what Pat can do for him and it seems like the Chiefs are doing that right back with them, uh, kind of being our target receiver for this, this offseason. So, J.D., when you – obviously, what do you think about this Hollywood Brown move? And do you think the Chiefs can unlock him as kind of what he uh, alluded to in his uh, opening press Uh So, yeah, so I'm happy with the signing, of course. Uh, but he was one of the two guys that I absolutely wanted and had talked about. Other guy obviously being Curtis Samuels, uh, what I thought was kind of – you know, kind of fit into this offense. Uh, but Hollywood Brown has the speed to take the the top of the defense, no doubt about it. We've seen it uh, in Baltimore. We've seen it some in, in Arizona. He can do the intermediate routes, of course, uh, as well, getting in and out of break. Um, I think James Jones was just talking about him working with him, said he's he's a hell of a receiver, said he does he can run anything, run any route, and we've seen that too. And the short routes is pretty easy. He was doing that. Obviously, and then some of the things that you're showing in Oklahoma, some of the short routes uh, that he's able to do. Short short routes are easy. Everybody should be able to do short routes, okay? All right. It, so the thing is, with the creativity, what Andy has, okay, in his bag, and being able to get guys open, uh, and maybe the system that he runs, uh, I do believe that we would utilize him a lot differently than he was used out in Arizona and in uh, in, in Baltimore. Uh, what that will turn out to be, uh, not quite sure. Uh, and the reason I say that is because we have two guys that we know is going to get a whole lot of uh, a lot of football thrown his way. The lion's share of it is one, Rasheed Rice, and uh, number two, Travis Kelsey. And so, how he works into this this whole offensive scheme, uh, I do believe that Andy's going to be like, okay, look, let's be a little creative with him. All right. I don't necessarily see him running some of the uh, like the uh, uh, the reverses, uh, jet sweeps. He may do some more of that, but more so anything else, I think he'll stretch it vertically is what we want to be able to see, right? And and horizontally as well because he can do that uh, too. Uh, but the, with with Andy having another high powered machine at his uh, disposal, man, it's going to be looking good. So we we missed last year, right? So we missed last year. So I'm I'm very excited about that. Uh, and so what? The, like I said, what does that mean? How many balls does that mean? We're looking at 70, 80 balls. That's why I was saying, Marcus, 70, 80 balls. We know he can catch the football, uh, and he can make guys miss. He can make guys miss. 
So we'll start to look, seeing more of the offers of old, what we used to be, kind of, right? With the Tyreek Hill. And the, we'll start seeing a little bit more of that, okay? Because now we have a one and our two. We have a one and our two, okay? With uh, Rasheed Rice and Marquise Brown. So I love what you said, Brown Rice. How you want to look at it? Brown Rice, okay? It's got, I love it. I love it. Uh, but make no mistake about it. Uh, we're threatening defenses, okay? We're going to be threatening defenses. So things that you did before trying to stop Kansas City wasn't going to work. So we start seeing teams these past couple of years drop seven, maybe even drop eight in, you know, in coverage, okay? Bring three. And the thing is, because we have Pacheco running the football, we know Patrick could do really well running the ball with his, with his, with his legs too. He'll hit you over the head. That, but now we have this other weapon that can get behind the defense. We have that guy. Uh, so I think he may hit all incentives, at least most of them, at least 75% of the incentives, without a doubt. Uh, the rest will be, remain to be seen, right? And it depends on how you get looked at in this, this offense, right? That's 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 how it works, how much work you're going to get. But this is a great signing. I love every bit of it. I love that he's going down right now, jumping on this whole thing with uh, Patrick Mahomes at this moment with his training and, and whatnot. Uh, these guys are building something special right now. And you got to do this at this moment because when you, the, as much work as you do, you put in during the offseason, will pay dividends when the season comes in. Okay. You don't have to worry about getting on the same page and all. Well, guys, is that? I think he said, Hollywood Brown said that he works out in, 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 uh, in Texas anyway, right? Right down the street from Bobby. And, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Rashid is right. is down there in Texas too. So these guys are all the way down there. We got a type. We got yeah, a type. Look, look, man. Look. So that tells me he's already bought in. He he was ready to buy in as before he got here. He was ready. Chiefs were pursuing him. That's a wonderful thing for us to see. Yeah, look, Patrick got to call guys up. Hey, can you get here this week? And all that. Oh man, I'm doing a photo shoot. And I, we ain't got look. We ain't got time for that. Patrick ain't time for that. Look, you can do what you want, right? Ain't nobody wrong with doing photo shoots and make money off the look. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. But just know when you're doing these photo shoots with somebody else, these guys out here working. They're working. Okay? And any corner who's sitting over here and wants to go and, and, and enjoy vacation, please do. These guys are putting the work in, man. They're they looking to torch your tail this season. So be ready for it. Okay? Chiefs are serious, and I love this. I mean, it's just showing everybody, look, you, you, you better be ready. You know, I, told, I talked about this, and if you hadn't been on the show, I talked about, you know, a cornerback, when you know you're going into a game and they, the, the wide receiver is keeping you up at night, and you come out of a cold sweat like, oh, I got to cover this guy. That That's what you're going to see. There's going to be a whole lot of nightmares coming into the season uh, this year. So I'm all for it, man. I, I love it. I love it. It, it, it. The the crazy thing is him saying that, and he's, he's been retweeting a lot of our stuff, Hollywood Brown has. Um, I feel like he's been like he's utilizing a lot of what we said in our tweets and in our show, and he's using a lot in, in his, his sound bites, saying like he wasn't utilized properly, and like he, he, he that, that he thinks he could be utilized even more so in this offense here. And it's like okay, because if you think about it, what Lee Riley, what he did in college, mm-hmm. and a lot of air raid elements that he comes from Mike Leach, a lot of air raid elements that. What did, yeah. what, did, what did Andy do when he got Mahomes? He tried to mix his West Coast offense with elements of the air raid offense and. I mean, mm-hmm. this is a guy, and, and what, the thing I love too, you bring up the Tyreek Hill aspect, but I'm not saying he's Tyreek Hill. I'm saying in 2019, when there was potential, everyone thought we were going to cut Tyreek Hill after you know the, the stuff that came out, and obviously they, they found out it was, it was false. But when that was going to happen, we were like, oh, okay, we're interested in him. We might trade up for him because they wanted to fill that, that, fill that role with another guy who they think can be capable of doing some of the Tyreek Hill's type stuff. And, and, and that, that's, that's another thing. But when you mentioned here, Having Rice, having Kelsey, and having Hollywood Brown, that's another guy, obviously, sophomore year for Rasheed Rice, another year of growth for him. And that's another guy having Hollywood there that defenses can't snooze on. They can't – and I'm not knocking Justin Watson, but there's there's, there's tears to this. Hollywood oh. Brown can instill fear in his secondaries. Justin Watson's not instilling fear. MVS wasn't instilling fear. Kadarius Tony by the end of the season, they weren't, they, these guys weren't instilling fear into the defenses. Now you have a guy, Hollywood Brown, who will do that. Whether he's going to catch a bomb every game, I don't know about that. But he's going to put you on. He's going to keep you on your heels all game long, and that's just, that's what we, that's an element we didn't have for the last few years. 
well, we're going to throw a bomb every game. I guarantee that now. I hope so. You know, with him, uh, because he can go up there and get it. You know, he, he can make over the shoulder catches. He he has great hands. Uh, I know they put out a video of him dropping balls. Well, guess what? You you going to drop balls in the NFL. Why was he was going to drop balls? That's what happens. Yeah, I mean, shoot. Every, everybody got – is not going to be perfect. They're not going to be perfect. But I, I do I, – I trust his hands. I trust his hands a whole lot. So with his speed, he'll get a couple of deep balls a game, and he should, okay, and he should. Uh, but, you know, kind of like what you were just saying, uh, if we do have, like, the offense where we do, like you said, the Tyreek Hill, be able to go catch footballs, get a little bit deep, do some things, get open in the – he he has all those things. He and and I would say because of the system, because we know he didn't get utilized, that's the reason he left Baltimore, right? And that's why he asked for your release or a trade or whatever it was. He was like, Hey man, I'm not being utilized. Okay. Some people could look at that as selfish, right? And and to be honest with you, you get you get disgruntled as a player, and this is like some of this, what I'm talking about when you first get into the NFL, because you want to be the guy, you want to be the man, you want all the balls thrown your way. Okay. And when you see that things are not necessarily happening the way that you want them to, then there's frustration. So yeah, there might be a little bit of some selfishness there, right? Because you just, because you know what you can do. Right. And you're like, Hey man, look, you, you get the ball to me. We're going to win more games. Okay. We're going to win more games. I think that year, I think they might have came out like eight and nine, you know, with Baltimore, right? So even though he caught a whole lot of balls at a thousand yards, and the Mark Andrews is up there too, made the All Pro, uh, uh, a Pro Bowl, uh, he was like, man, maybe some things need to change. I, I don't know what this offense is looking like. You know, it's just us two. Is anybody else in this mix? So now we know we got a tight end better than uh, Mark Andrews, Travis Kelsey. Okay, you got, you got a complimentary piece. That's there uh, with Rasheed Rice, okay, which gets you open even more one on ones, okay, that they can't just cover these two and that's it, right? You ain't gonna be able to just double uh, Travis Kelsey. You're not gonna be able to do it. Teams came into the game doubling Travis Kelsey, tripling Travis Kelsey. This guy can't beat us. What's well, different now? You got Rasheed Rice, you got Hollywood Brown. Two totally different things. Two totally different things. And so now we talked about getting Irv Smith in. Working 12 and 13 personnel will change his things. So we don't know what, you know, Kadarius, Tony, Sky Moore, those guys could be a complimentary piece in the room with, with them, right? And it's going to be a competition because I'll tell you what, one thing does competition brings the best out of people. It does. If it doesn't, then you, you're just going to get cut. You, 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 bye bye, see you later. That's going to be it. Okay. So you either sink or swim with this competition. Okay. You just got you just actually got one of the better receivers in the room. Now the guys that stay in the room that's left over, what are you gonna do? Look, and I I know you said Justin, look, Justin Watson tell you Hollywood Brown's better than him. Okay, he will. Nothing wrong with that. Look, look, sometimes you just gotta know your limitations. Okay. There's things that Hollywood Brown could do that Justin Watson just can't. So everybody's taking a back seat, but this is competition. You want some reps in here? You want these guys you got to beat out. So everybody's game's gonna elevate. It's gonna have to. If not, See you later. We're going to sit you on the side of this bench, okay? Come catch you some of his pine is what you do, right? <laughs> so, but then, I, like you was talking about, what you do to the defense, man, it, this is, this is it, it, opposing defenses, they're going to be shaking in their boots. They're going to be shaking in the boots. And we're going to get a receiver in the draft. Come on. Yeah, the, the one-year deal indicates two things. One, there's a chance that they could pull a Drew Tranquil with him. I mean, he seems pretty excited to be in Kansas City. And then, two – it's a one-year deal, so we're going to be drafting another receiver, whether it's round one or early within the first three three rounds of draft, which I think we, you and I are in agreement on. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think the one-year deal definitely uh, lends a hand to that. Uh, J.D., I got a question here about yeah, uh, I, opposing defenses. I love this. Okay. Okay, with a couple two-shell defense, the teams are scheming against the offense when Tyreek was here affect our offensive schemes with Hollywood potentially playing that role. So the difference is I think that uh, Hollywood Brown is a more refined uh wide receiver than Tyreek, okay? Tyreek has natural ability that he can do a whole lot of different things. Uh, and the reason I say that is I, I say Marquise Brown, because he had been playing wide receiver his entire time, he has better hands. Like, he, he has it, – it, it's like catch points, okay? 
how balls are coming out. Where sometimes we can see Tyreek not necessarily catching balls with his hands, which is fine. I mean, you catch the ball, you, get, you need to catch the ball. But Tyreek might go jump with his body to catch the football. That gives uh, the ability for the defense to come in and catch, a, you know, hit him or get open. The good thing about Ty, uh, Tyreek is he's so fast, he gets two or three yards open on guys, and then he has to wait for the ball to get there and over. Holly Brown could come out to break and catch the ball right there, and you know, on the on the, you know, without missing a beat. And I think at that point with the two two uh, shell uh, coverage, Hollywood Brown can run those routes that can get open on two shell. Okay, like the deep digs. Okay, this is what you're kind of looking for. Uh, the hooks and the curls that you're looking for. Uh, comebacks on the outside or that that nine route. You know, you think that that deep two shell. The teams are just pushing back and try to cover deep. Well, you can open up the middle, not just with one guy. But also with two. Now you got Rasheed Rice. Now you got uh, Travis Kelsey. You can find holes in that. You can find holes in that. So if you you drop it, everybody back. Guess what? We can run underneath. We can run in those seam areas. All those things are going to be open for us. Okay. And then if we need to get deep, we can do that too. So that's why I say that the cover two shell when you run those things. Tyreek was just they were just trying to cover Tyreek from just going deep. Just don't let him beat you deep. That was the thing. They just couldn't keep up with Tyreek. They had to open up and just run right now to get to get beat. But Hollywood Brown is the more refined wide receiver that he can find those windows to get open and that awareness to catch the footballs. And the and guess what? We have the quarterback that can make those throws. We have it. We don't have to send three guys out. We can send five guys out or four guys out, okay, to go to get that open. So I guess that's that's my question, right? Or the answer to that question on the two shell. How do you play that? So, yeah, like that. Um, our guy Scott, Scott, appreciate for the contribution, brother. I really appreciate that, man. Um, but Scott's got a, uh, a comment Scott. here, JD. Uh, yeah, his hot take Hollywood is cross between uh, Dante Hall and Tyreek Hill. What do you think about that? Uh, <laughs> I think he's more of a polished receiver than both those guys, but those guys weren't uh, receiver, receiver coming out. Yeah, yeah, no, they weren't receiver guys coming out. They catching the ball with their hands, and that's where we find like better hands. I, I, I think, like I said, catch points. Uh, D. Hall and 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 Tyreek, man. I mean, their stop and start is it's hard to mimic. I mean, I, I Dante and Tyreek are two guys that can make somebody miss in a phone booth, like just <laughs> in that area. That's very hard for guys to do. So that's that's a hard comparison. Uh, I wouldn't say Marquise has some quickness to to do those things, but D. Hall and Tyreek's on a whole different level, like an elite on doing those things, like making guys miss, like in that area. Uh, and, and it's been phenomenal just to be able to watch. So yeah. those, those are two, guys. Yeah, those are two rare birds. Not saying that that Marquise can't make guys miss because he can, and we've seen that happen before. When we talking D. Hall and, and, and Tyreek is that's different level. <laughs> So it's different, different animals right there. Different animals. There's tears so, to it. But I do like what you're saying, though. I like. Them. Yeah, I get the point. A, a fast twitch guy that we haven't had since Tyreek. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.